Gets Harry Kane here. Yeah? Harry Kane shoots and scores. What a goal from Harry Kane. Juan Mata again with the assist. A brilliant finish from Harry Kane. He's been doing it all season long. I think hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to season 1, episode number 11 of the Man United Career Mode series. In today's episode, we have a massive game against Liverpool and we'll also be trying to sign a right back and a backup centre back. If you guys are enjoying this series, why not drop a like on today's video? 50 likes would be awesome. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Before we get into today's episode, let's have a look at the league table. As you can see, we are in second place here with 46 points. Chelsea have 46 points as well, but we have a game in hand over them and that game in hand is against Swansea so if we can beat them we'll be in a very good position in the Barclays Premier League anyways guys now let's focus on transfers we're probably going to sign Bellerin in today's episode apart from that I asked you guys for some backup centre-back suggestions you guys left loads of them Nicholas Sula Jonathan Tarr Daniel Rugani Tin Yedvard Bruno Martins Indy were the popular ones I've put them all in the short list but the most popular one was Nicholas Sula so if we can get him for a good deal I think I'm gonna go for him he's like the primary choice we have in that position our team is looking really good right now now, if we get Bellerin, etc., the team will look really good. If you guys have any other transfer suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, there was one comment in the last episode asking me to have a look at how my youth players who are out on loan are progressing. So, as you can see, they're doing pretty well. Team to Fosu Mensah has gone up by 3. He's 68. That is actually really, really good. We also have players like Marcus Rashford who have gone up by 2. That's really good. I mean, he's 70 now. He could be an important part of the squad next season if he reaches maybe 72 or 73. James Wilson has and grown that's a surprise Tyler Blackett has gone up by one and you know the lone players are doing well that is really good to see hopefully they will be a part of this Man United squad that will be really awesome in today's episode only two games because we have a lot of transfer business but those two games are important first up we face Swansea and then we have a massive game against Liverpool who we did lose in the first game we played against them so revenge is on so hopefully we'll be able to beat them for now let's focus on this game against Swansea this is the team we are going with unfortunately we don't have Martial or even Garrett Bale who are out with injury Hopefully they'll be back soon. Bale won't be back soon because his injury is long term. Martial hopefully will be back soon. Great chance here early on in this game coming from Harry Kane. But I'm surprised he missed that one. You know, normally Kane puts those in the back of the net. Here's Kane again. Puts the ball into Hesse Lingard. Takes a touch inside. Shoots with his left foot and his shot hits the crossbar. This could well be a very important game for Hesse Lingard. He needs to prove himself because obviously with Bale out injured he'll get a lot of opportunities. But... We do concede here while talking about, you know, Hesse Lingard. Sigurdsson does manage to head the ball home. Really poor defending from Daly Blind, who was marking Sigurdsson, but then just left him. Very poor defending from him, and that's exactly why we're getting rid of him. But here's Carrick now, puts the ball into Harry Kane. Harry Kane takes a touch away from the defenders, and then he just takes it inside and shoots and scores. This is what Kane does normally, just keeps scoring goals. In the 81st minute, we do manage to get a goal back. Really good goal there from Harry Kane. And obviously, Harry Kane has been doing it all season long, as I said and a brilliant strike from him to beat the keeper great goal from him and now look at this what happens Fabianski plays the ball into Taylor it hits Fabianski again you know Harry Kane capitalizes on that and takes a shot and scores so we are leading two goals to one completely undeserved we had the chances though but this goal I mean I really don't think we deserved it because Swansea were actually playing well but still I mean this was really bad to you know for Swansea in terms of you know Swansea's morale etc to concede such a goal really poor play from Fabianski but it doesn't matter we've got the win and that's exactly what matters as you can see Hector Bellerin will be joining us contract offer accepted that is sick a new signing Hector Bellerin right back really good start he's going to be amazing for us let's reject this Munir deal because we've already got Iñaki Williams and that's exactly why I'm saying that you know Jesse Lingard needs to perform well Bale is not there so he is going to be the first choice you know right winger plus Iñaki Jackie Williams is knocking on the door to come into the first team, so Lingard, I hope he starts performing well. He did have a decent game, not that bad actually, and we do have a lot of money, so we can actually go for any of the centre-backs we want, and I'm going to go for Nicolas Shula. I know he's the most expensive out of all these, but he's the best as well. He's got decent stats, great defending stats, and he will be really good for us if we can actually get him. So let's put in an offer of maybe something like 12 million for Nicolas Shula. I'm not sure if it's the best of offers, but I think it will be a decent enough offer for Hoffenheim to actually consider the deal so 20 year old center back obviously his value is 23 and a half million right now so putting in a 12 million offer let's see what Hoffenheim come back with so as you can see they haven't accepted the transfer offer and I'm not you know surprised at that because obviously it's worth much more so let's offer 16 million and let's see if they do accept it I think we should also put in an offer for someone else in the defense department because in fact I mean if that Sula deal doesn't go well according to plan then we can you know get one of these plays so I'm putting in a 10 or yeah 10 million offer for Bruno Martins in the great center back 
back as well he'd also definitely help the team so let's see what the, you know the respective clubs come back and say Hoffenheim and obviously FC Porto also guys I'm putting Daily Blind right now on the transfer list because I don't really need him and he was the reason we actually conceded against Swansea and that's why I'm putting him on the transfer list hasn't been really good interest shown by Bournemouth that is not bad so if you can let him go and let him you know get quickly sell him that'd be just awesome as you can see guys Nicholas Sula he will be going through we're signing a new center back that'd be awesome not going for any other center backs also a lot of you guys were talking about why am I selling Damien in the comment section the reason is I don't really like him in this game he wasn't performing well so I think in my opinion it did make sense letting him go we brought in Hector Bellerin instead who is a fantastic right back and I think he will really improve this side and he was the most popular suggestion as well so there you can see Bellerin is in the team Nicolas Sula will be joining us as well look at Bellerin's stats he's only 77 right now but with training he will definitely improve I mean look at those stats he's got like 94 sprint speed that is just ridiculously good I mean he's going to be awesome for us anyways now we're going to be facing fourth place Liverpool here playing Liverpool away from home at Anfield is never easy this is going to be a really interesting game we lost the first time we played against them hopefully we will be able to get revenge this is the team I'm going with Bellerin will be making his debut Schweinsteiger comes in for Anta Herrera who obviously was in good form but I think it's time Schweinsteiger you know plays and obviously Lingard will be starting again instead of Iñaki Williams because I want Lingard to grow more and become a better player let's see if he can prove himself here chance here for Liverpool Henderson now with the ball goes past Varane like he wasn't even there Henderson then takes the shot but De Gea makes a very good save keeping the score nil nil chance here for us now Luke Shaw plays the ball into Harry Kane here who has a great chance to score but he couldn't take Mignolet there who makes a very good save 28 minutes gone it is still nil nil we got to create more to get the first goal of this game or else Liverpool are looking really threatening here Harry Kane tries to push away Alberto Moreno to get the ball he does so successfully takes a shot but Mignolet again makes the save so basically half time the score is still nil nil chance here in the 53rd minute of this game this is a great opportunity for us to score ball into Harry Kane but how has he hit the post from there that was literally from six yards or even less Harry Kane should have definitely scored that chance here now again for us Bellerin placed the ball into Harry Kane this could be it for us Harry Kane goes down inside the box not sure if that was a penalty or not but we get a penalty chance here for Harry Kane to score against Liverpool let's see if we can Harry Kane to take the penalty and he puts it into the back of the net a really good penalty there from Harry Kane and it is 1-0 to Man United Harry Kane gets his third goal of the episode again Harry Kane he's been really good for us in terms of goal scoring performances but we do concede again from a header and the amount of goals I concede from headers are just ridiculous but we do concede one Daniel Sturridge the goal scorer so we got to find a way to get the lead in this game chance here for us now Harry Kane plays the ball into Schweinsteiger tries to curl one in but it hits the post now it's Alberto Moreno on the ball into Coutinho here yeah? Coutinho plays the back into Mignola you won't believe what's happened Mignola just I don't know what he did there. He put the ball into the back of his own net and for some reason Mata is celebrating. I mean literally just very weird. This I can't believe what Mignola did. Probably the most weird own goal I've ever seen on FIFA. Look at Mignola. He's just being such an idiot. Look at that. He's running toward the post. What is he doing? What kind of a glitch is that? And I haven't used sliders and all I'm telling you guys. It just happened something really weird. There you can see user gameplay customization. It's all on 50. I haven't made any changes. But really what was that? I I mean I have no idea we do get the win completely undeserved it should have been a draw but somehow we've been very lucky throughout these games in against Swansea was a goalkeeping error that gave us the winning goal against Liverpool Mignolet gave us the winning goal I mean really ridiculous I have no words for that anyways I'm just let's just move on from that nonsense anyways we are doing some training right now hopefully some of the players can get an increase in their stats and Depay's long passing and crossing do increase he's very close to being an 82 rated player that's awesome big news guys Nicolas Sula has accepted to the contract offer he will be joining us from Hoffenheim Nicolas Sula joins Man United a huge transfer hopefully he'll be very good for us and at the same time Daily Blind will be leaving Man United for Bournemouth for 12 and a half million a really good offer came from Bournemouth and I had to accept it anyways this is how the league table looks right now we are still in second place but Chelsea have played a game more than us so um, we have 52 points they have 52 points as well it's looking really awesome the league I think we have a really good chance of winning the Premier League this season if we can win it it'll be freaking insane Insane. Also, we are in the round of 16 of the Champions League, so means we are alive in three competitions. I mean, things are going really well. Anyways, for today's episode, the player of the episode is none other than Harry Kane for getting three goals, a penalty, a really good strike, and obviously a lucky goal. The best thing I like about Kane is that he's a perfect goal scorer. He's, you know, running around to get the ball even when he knows that he's not probably going to get it. His work rate is superb in this game. And this is the third consecutive time he's got the player of the episode. Things are going well for Harry Kane. Things are 
going well for us. Hopefully you can continue that way. As you can see the squad ranking, Harry Kane in second place, Bale in first place, but with Bale's injury, it could go down to Harry Kane being the best player at the club, the number 10 of the team. So we're gonna have Bale back in like three months and hope he'll be back for the latter stages of the Champions League or towards the end of the season. Martial in like two weeks, that is awesome. And I'm going to be showing you guys the top scorers of the Premier League. Harry Kane with 16 freaking goals. I mean, that is ridiculous. But anyways, the episode will be coming to an end here. If you guys have any other transfer suggestions, let me know them down in the comments below. We still have a decent amount of money left. My plan is to actually save the money until next season so that we can make some big transfers. But it's up to you guys. Next episode, we'll have some big Premier League games as well. If you guys are enjoying this series, drop a like on today's video. 50 likes, as I said, would be awesome. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys soon for another episode of this series.